Not too many creatures can say they lived among dinosaurs, but these mollusks can. Mollusks are some of the oldest creatures still living on Earth. How old? Well, we humans have been around for three million years, but mollusks have been here for hundreds of millions of years. They were here when big dinosaurs were roaming the seas, and even before that. How did they survive so long? For starters, mollusks have adapted to many different kinds of habitats and lifestyles. And that's why there isn't much of a family resemblance, but they do have one thing in common, a big foot. After years of evolution, this foot has been modified to suit the different needs of different mollusks. In the case of the octopus and its relatives, this big foot has evolved into a bunch of tentacles attached to their head. And that's why these tentacled mollusks have a special name, cephalopods. Cephalopod means head foot in Greek. All the different species of cephalopods are like brothers and sisters. But after millions of years of evolution, you'd never know it to look at them. The Nautilus keeps its tentacles tucked in front of its beautiful ancestral shell. This heavy shell helps protect it from predators, and it also serves as a float way down deep where the pressure is really strong. It's believed that the Nautilus goes as deep as a thousand feet. Like a living submarine, the Nautilus has a unique ability to control its depth, and being able to rise and sink at will comes in handy when the Nautilus is searching for food. It can change the amount of gas in its shell whenever it wants to, so it can go up and down easily. This talent is called buoyancy, and without it, the Nautilus would have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. Buoyancy helps keep the Nautilus from sinking, but when it wants to get somewhere fast, it relies on jet propulsion. It pumps water into its body and shoots it out in a jet to help it move around. In fact, the swimming mechanism of this living dinosaur may have inspired the design of modern jet engines. But the Nautilus isn't the only jet-powered fossil out there. Like the Nautilus, the cuttlefish is equipped with jet valves and tubes that allow it to zoom away from danger. The cuttlefish has a shell, but it's hidden on the inside. Unlike its deep water cousin, the Nautilus, the cuttlefish doesn't need a heavy protective shell on the outside. It relies on camouflage and speed to avoid danger on the shallow reef where it hunts for fish and shrimp. Cuttlefish are even brainier than the Nautilus. They can communicate with one another by changing color and texture. Each shade and pattern is a different message. It's a secret cuttlefish code. People haven't cracked it yet, but this might mean, who are you and why are you pointing that camera at me? Of course, to see colors, you have to have pretty good eyesight. The cuttlefish certainly don't need glasses and neither does the octopus. It's another ancient creature, sort of like a Nautilus, but without any protective shell at all. The octopus uses vision and color and texture changes to protect itself. When it sees danger approaching, the octopus oozes itself into a rocky crevice and changes color to match the surroundings. Presto changeo! Now you see it? Now you don't. Here one minute, gone the next. It's a nifty disappearing act, and it's helped the octopus not disappear for millions of years.